Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Uh, and I've come on here today because we're going to do some more work on this one. On our crazy patchwork. There's bits that I haven't finished. I haven't finished that bit there. I haven't finished that bit there or there. I want to put some beads on there. <laughs> but, you know, there's always, you know, there's always something else I can teach you, you know, and then we can all go on with what we've, and finish off what we, we've got left there, can't we? So, I'm going to teach you something like that, and it stands up. So I don't know what to put it onto unless I make a strawberry or something. Making a strawberry would be fun. Yes. We needed a, big, we needed a bigger piece of work, didn't we? <laughs> this one's getting too full too fast. Um, okay, so let's do a little something um, to put this stitch onto. Right, we can make a strawberry, I suppose. Do we have the for that though. Um, I need a bit of red. <laughs> that's not my colour, is it, red? How about if I make it put it over the top of something here? It doesn't have to be a strawberry, it can be a blueberry, a purple, a purple berry, a berry. A little berry. I'll make a little berry, okay? With some of that. And look at me, my plans changed round and round and round, you know, straight straight off, eh? I've got this here, not you. Now. A bit dark. Do you think it's a bit dark? Uh, <laughs> Very. Yeah, all right. Could put it there, it won't matter if you're covering over a bit of that because you just can't just have all that on. Okay, so I'm going to get the lighter piece, I'll get the lighter circle out of there. I cut these out so long ago and I haven't really done much with them at all. But that's the way things are, isn't it? You can't really have all these things on the go at once, like I have, <laughs> and I have. Buckets of bead soup now. Right. Now I'm going to make a um, a little berry. Okay. We we're not going to make anything too big. So I'm going to cut this up. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm going to cut it up. I don't want to bother getting out the circle because I'm going to cut it up. Okay. So I hope everybody's been... Um, good and, and you know cozy in your homes and not having any health issues and all that sort of thing it is raining here today and I am unable to go to my appointment so I have to wait now till May anyhow I mean to say well what are you going to do why the man wants to have Easter all of, <laughs> all of April off for Easter I don't know but yeah, so there we are. Never mind. It's all right. We will not worry about it. Now, I haven't got no guarantee to you how this is going to turn out. I will do my best. All right, where's this here thingy? All right, I want a piece of this, but I need it smaller than that piece. Of. Okay, we're going to have two very, very small pieces of felt. You can use whatever you want to, right? So you want... <coughs> down a bit I hope I don't breathe all in that just well <laughs> um this this size you know probably the top of me well it's not the top of any of my fingernails because they've all grown up uh, grown way out of control now um you know that's that's a little little circle and then un and then you need something this size okay that size just a small thing right I just need a bit so now we're going to actually thread a needle with a colour cotton that we're going to make the berry because and what colour berry will we be having today okay what have I got in here I've got lots of bead soup these days I just have to I wanted these um, pearly ones but I had put the others in them with there <coughs> in there with them. <laughs> Gee, Sonia. <laughs> your brain, your mouth are not working together. Hang on a second. Oh, 
Oh, just the thing. I think this is just the thing. These here ones. Love them. Don't you think they're cool? Right out. Now this is all started because we were going to do something else. <laughs> we have to do the right thing first. You have to do the berry first, don't you? Oh, sorry. I hit the camera. Or the stand anyway. Now, so I've got two. I'm going to put it up here. Okay. So I need some cotton in a bead needle. Okay. Cotton in a bead needle. I've got a bead needle here. I've got one inch threaded with white cotton. I keep taking them out of the container that they're in over there and then not putting them back. So maybe I should use one out of here now. See if I can find the right colour thread to do that with. Should be able to. Have plenty. Which box are they in? Okay, this will work really good, won't it? Look at this, it's a variegated one and see, but they are too. Yeah, that was cool. Fair there. Must be, must be meant to work this one. <laughs> must be meant to do this one. I was just gonna say to you, what did I do with the bead needle with the bead needle? I was just gonna say that, yep. Okay. Didn't get any sleep last night. Waste of time going to bed. It's quite annoying really. I went to sleep yesterday afternoon about 2 o'clock and didn't wake up till 5. Maybe that had something to do with it. That and the fact that I was worried about going today and then I couldn't go today. So, oh, what are you going to do? Okay, so I've got... I'm not going to double it. Don't have to double it. I'm just using a piece of this embroidery thread, right? It's got a, it's a variegated one. It's probably... Um, it's very rarely I can tell you what I've got that I'm working with, eh? This, this could be, um, might not be DMC, could be anchor. I just think, I don't know why, but I think it might be an anchor thread. I've had them a fair, fair while. So now, what you need to do is get your little tiny piece of stuff here that we got. See that? And you want to put him up, move him over here a bit. He's under there somewhere, look. I'm going to put a stitch through them, through him, like so. Okay. Then I'm going to get the other piece and I'm going to put over the top of it. And I'm going to go around this a little bit with a couple of stitches just to hold it in place for a minute. You, know, you, you need a little bit of padding, okay? If you want to make a berry like this, you need a little bit of padding. So we got that. Now we're going to put some beads on that. <coughs> Now I've moved the board and I thought, I should have thought, move the camera, okay? Move the camera, not the board, move the camera. So you're just going to thread these on. Better do a time, hey? Where did that go? Come up through the back, put a bead on. And go down through the top of the felt. Okay. And you're just going to keep doing that until you have completely covered this thing. This round bit. Come here, so popping off there. Get it here. Okay. I'm pushing it through the knot. I thought it was hard to get through. You should probably look behind you what you're doing, eh? I say that all the time, but I don't necessarily do it, do I? So you thread the beads on. This now I could have I should have should have cut it on a little bit of a pointish bit, but it doesn't matter. Ber berries are different sorts, aren't they? Come back through here, so you can't pick up your bead through there. 
Try it. If you stick with your colours too, it'll work better. Like if you wanted to put a different colour underneath it, that'd be all right, but it's not going to, it'll be harder to cover it because you want to completely cover your felt. And, um, and then you'll actually be sewing over some of the top of some of your beads because you need it to be a little bit dimensional, a bit more dimensional than what it is. <clears throat> Could be a grape, I suppose. Could be, you never know. It's just one of those things, you see. It's one of those things. Yes, yeah, so it's been raining and raining and raining here today. And rain and rain, and I just heard this big noise outside. I don't know, you know. And I looked up there, and there was this great big. When I say great big bird, I suppose it could be I'm exaggerating. It's a beautiful big green bird with uh, orange on him and other colours. It must have been a parrot, a pretty beautiful parrot. But I've never seen one like that before. And he's there eating the um, something out of the tree. I tried to get him, Jeremy to come and have a look at him, but he moved over around the other side. It's good that we have lots of birds about, because we have lots of trees in our yard. We like our trees. Um, they're good for the, uh, the world, aren't they? For all of us. To breathe and everything. <laughs> People cut them down and it makes me so wild. For no reason. Got after some fellas one day and I was coming over and chopping, chopping, the, chopping the trees to pieces. Well, can you help it? It's pretty heavy that rain now, isn't it? Oh dear. I don't think I'm looking forward to this wet weather because it's not good for me. So this is covering is really good, isn't it? So now what we need to do is to keep going until we get it all it all covered. So I'm going to come up on the edge so that you can't see any of that. Um, whoops. So you can't see any of the felted bit. The felt, I mean, behind there. He's going pretty round, isn't he? He's looking round. I hope he's not too big. I hope I didn't make him too big. But you know what you can do? You can go and you can get, pick up your... Um, bring your cotton through. Grab hold of this bead here. Seems to be wanting to go over that way and push him back there. Okay, bring him back to the middle. Get some more in the middle first before you do anything else. Even if you're pushing the other ones over a bit, I bet you that's trying to go through or not. Even if you're pushing the others over a bit, it doesn't matter because you want it as packed full of um, beads as you can. Watch me thread me beads on, but starting to look okay. Starting to look okay. I'm going to bring another one in here. And it, it's sort of, if you can see, it's sort of going a little bit higher in the middle there, see? You put the piece under the bottom only little so it doesn't and it just brings up 
the rest of the work see this one he's gone too far off the side so I'm going to catch him and bring him back this way a bit just pick up just pick him up with your thread push him back through be careful your bead needles are very can be very dangerous <laughs> they can be um, I could make this into a grape if I wanted to by just coming down here a bit um, I don't know if I want to do that. I'm just going to leave it for as a berry thing, okay? We'll just leave it as a berry because if I make it into a grape, it's going to be too big. So I'm even going to go back in and put another bead in here. I'm just, you know, going way beady, way beady here. Way beady. Come on, get in there. Oh, dear. Come on. Now this one here is hanging around here by himself, waving about. So I'm going to hang on to him again and push him down in there because when he went in the first place, he mustn't have, mustn't have pulled him in there tight enough. There we go. Now I think I'm happy with that. When I do these other these other bits on it, I'll be able to tell you. This could be a blueberry or a blackberry. You know, there's whatever whatever the case may be. Right, so that's that done, that bit. Now, I'm going to put these back in the jar, better. I don't know how they're hard or easy this is going to be for me. <laughs> ah, dear. I must have taken the top out. You must be able to take the top out. That's the way. Now I've got a bit bigger part to put them in. Yeah, these, these are fine, very fiddly. <laughs> I'm going to take it to the edge and see if I can push them in. Do you reckon I can get many? <laughs> Hope so. Well, you're not even with me now. I'm over here, look. I'm over here now. I'm going to try and put them in there. This is not. This is looking tricky to me. Okay. All right. All good. So far, so good. Please stop moving. There you go, Sonia. You've got most of them. I suppose that's the point. You've got most of them. There's a couple there, but they might need to go on later. So we push that in there, shut, that's good, got him. Now, we need to make some, um, some of these little bits, what do you call them? <laughs> you know what bees on the, oh, you'll see it when I get it out there, when I get it in the plan. Have that colour, always oh, a bit bright. See, that looks to me like it might be faded somehow, that one, doesn't it? Don't know if I want a thick thing like that. Uh, that's all the green in there. Anyway, there's got to be something I can use here. You can't keep getting lots out there, Sonia. Now, we need to have a needle. I stuck a pin or something in myself the other day and geez it hurt and it looks oh dear I'm getting myself a little messy okay so is that too thick is this going to be too thick don't know we're going to go with it anyway so I'm going to have that piece and then I'm going to need another piece of thread as well to do this um Poor old hubby's out there sneezing. Uh, probably from the fresh air. Because <laughs> he's got, he's got the door open. Okay, now, I hope this is not going to be too thick. Think about it, Sonia. Will it be? No, it won't. Okay, right, let's thread this up. Okay, it might be a good idea if you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I haven't done anything yet, so don't get excited there. Right, different, different needle, that's no good to me if it's not going to play right. It's not playing nice at all. Here's one of them sharp ones. <laughs> Here's one of them sharp ones. I 
I'm working on a few things at the time, you know, like, actually, there's a couple of you haven't even seen yet, so. But I want to get more episodes done and things so I can, before I put them up. <clears throat> That's not good. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm making a mess of it. I'm making a mess of this on you. Scooching it all, scooching it all up. Why don't you get the needle thread? <laughs> Actually, went and bought some more yesterday. I did. I went and bought some more needle threaders. So I love them. And now I don't use it. And I'm not using it. I might actually use something else to do this. I might use this piece here that I can see a bit better than that in a bit. Okay. So now I've got a piece of um, thread on my needle. Plus I've got an extra piece of thread here. Okay. So what you do is to make these little things, and I'm going to make them so they come down over the top of that, I think, um, or have, bit, have them hanging down the bottom here. <laughs> oh, decisions, decisions. Well, it'll be the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. We'll do it down here, hey? So I need to come up at this part here. Uh, right. Did I put a knot? Nope, I did not. Put a knot in it, Sonia. I do. And then I'm going to go down at the next next to it, next to it, right? Just part way, okay? Don't go all the way. Now I'm going to try and just take this right down here so you can see this. Hopefully, I can stay in the in the shot. Then I'm going to get this piece. And I'm going to put it through here like this, okay? Like so. I'm going to hang on to that, right? I'm going to pull this bit through a bit further, but not all the way, just to there, maybe, right? So now I've got that bit there's looped around there, and that bit there's looped around, okay? So now what you do is you come up through the back up underneath here again near your beads top, the top of the beads I just have to eat your eyebrows here for a minute sorry <laughs> and then you have two so you've got this and you can hold it up if you want to and you're going to go under there right and back under this piece while you're hanging on to that of course Right, pull it down. Oh, you got a stray bit of thread in there. That happens. So, it's supposed to be hold. It's supposed to hold it apart. But maybe I put my things too close together. My two stitches. So hopefully, when I do the next one, it'll look. It'll be easy for you to see. You just go under there and under that one. Under the over there and under there. Over there and under there. Now I'm going to push it down. Push it down so it's nice and firm. And then you're not going through any of your material, okay? You're just going under the cotton. I'm going to buy myself one of them stands tomorrow. I actually found some winter sheets, so that, I was pleased about that. I went to spot. I went on the spotlight thing and found some last night, so I'm really pleased about my sheets that I found. So, well, I haven't got them yet, but I'm sure they'll be nice, hopefully. So you go over that one, under that one. So you're making this separate, separate thing, see? Put that down there. Make it go down. Because you want it to be um, like you know, nice, and, nice and snug. Um, don't get too excited and squish it all, <laughs> whatever. Um, so you go under, under, over that one, and under that one. Oops, come here! No, don't get caught up there. Don't time. If you get all caught up, it might muck it up on me. You go under there. Over and under. 
We're getting close to the end now. I don't want it to go through the purple piece of thread. Or is that too late? Have you already done that, Sonia? Have you? One minute. I hope that this worked out because if this is not in the shot, I'm going to be very disappointed because it's a really cool thing to do. And then that's all of those, and then I'm going to pull these out. Okay, and then I've got this thingy. See, got that. Probably needed to have a little bit more, a couple more weaves on that. Maybe it needed a couple more weaves. It's a little bit loose. That doesn't matter. Now, if if you want to, and you want it to be shaped in that direction, you can just pull this over. Oh, hang on. Sorry. You can just take it back over the top of it like that, or you can just put it down. Wherever you want it to go, and you, but you can give it a little bit of a, um, a tuck so it's sort of sitting up a bit, okay? And then you can do another one, and I'll try and do this one a bit better. I'll do it a bit better for you so you can see what I'm doing. Now when I go back down here, I might do it a little bit further away from the first, when the first come up, okay? A little bit over a bit further when it first come up. And where's my purple bit? Oh. I chucked it flying. I didn't mean to, but I did. Okay, so now I'll pull that there like so. You hang on to this bit. You have a few hands. <laughs> right, and I'm going to come up at the back of here. In the middle of there. Right, oh. Now I'm going to go under this one. I should have made it a bit longer. No, maybe not, it doesn't matter. And over and under that one. Over and under there. You definitely need a hoop on a stand for this, don't you? Had one. It was it was beautiful too. And it wore out. Oh, it all split, so it's only got no good then to use anymore. Actually, it was it was going to be fixed, but I can't find it, so I'm going to have to buy another one. Keep talking about it. Got to get on with it. Over there, over this way. Doesn't it make a difference to your berry thing, doesn't it? Make it look good. You probably need to do three of these to make it um, right. <laughs> if you get me, I'll, I'll do another one anyway if I can. Oh, we probably should work on something. Oh. As you can see, I do like these needle weaving bits. I do like these. There you go. Three dimensional is what we do. I like to do. Going under there again. I mean, you make a space to get through. Now look, if this if this upsets you and you get a bit stressed out by it. Don't worry about it. Just, just go and do your best. If it's not right, pull it undone and do it. Fix it. I mean, you know, I might have told you, but I've taught people that just they think it's terrible if you've got to pull it undone. But if you don't pull it undone, you're doing it wrong, and you don't want to do that. You need to do it properly. Here you go. All right. Now there's another one. Now he can be, you know, so he's like that. Um. So like you can pull them up over, you now these fingernails are starting to annoy me. They're growing up there and this is getting caught, everything's getting caught under them now. 
Okay, so, ah, uh, well, I, I did one. <laughs> you can put it up that way and it hang down, you know, around there. Over it like that. Bring that over there like that. Well, I'm going to just leave mine up to the top because I just I just will. And then I'll just go through to the back. And that is really good fun to do. And I have turned it a tiny bit. When I put that down, I had it turned a tiny bit. So I just, you know, you can have it like that. So it just, you know, it just looks good. Now I'll do another one over here. You could even probably put a little one up there, I suppose, if you wanted to. Don't know whether I want to do that. Let's see what see what it looked like. No, he doesn't need to have that there because I think he looks really good like he is. Okay, so you need to thread this piece through. You could try doing without that, but I don't think you can. Um, I think people have done something like you can do something like this too with a pin, but you do a different way. You do a different weaving way, so um, it, it looks different. This is more or less for these little. Uh -huh, come on. <laughs> I didn't leave enough room to thread this through. Really, I pulled it through too far. Too carried away there. I don't know. I'll just push it through the hole. The rain's still pretty pattering. It's good rain. It's good rain's good. But it does stop me from going and doing stuff. But anyway, can't be helped. Can't go in a car because my legs don't bend properly. My legs won't bend and it's gonna and it'll hurt me really bad. So while I'm in this situation, I just have to wait until it's not raining and then I can go on my scooter. And hopefully it won't be for my next appointment. But I've got to go back and see my own doctor before then. So that's next week. So we'll talk to her for a minute about things. I'm sure I'll be fine. She took blood tests and she didn't ring me urgently to see me, so I must be okay. <coughs> That's good, isn't it? <coughs> That's what they told me anyway. And they rang me to make an appointment for me. They said, well, she, if, she'd have, if it was anything urgent, she'd have rang you to see you straight away, so that's good. But then again, you think, oh, well, what? Can't you fix me? <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. you got to fix me. As long as that's not serious, I suppose. It's all good. I hope you can see what I'm doing here, can you? I showed you sort of how to do it, but I don't want you to... I don't want to be in the way. There you go. Uh, uh, this one got to be tiny, didn't it? Well, didn't it ever? Look at that. It was awful small. See, if this was sitting in a hoop in front of me on a stand, I could just do it like this. I suppose I could have tried a bit harder to do it like this anyway. <laughs> but it's not easy. Trying to hold your work and do the stitching at the same time in this predicament. You can see what we're doing? Good. I think you're sorting out a bit of stuff this morning. Putting together a bit of stuff. that up there a bit Sonia just with me needle I'm just pushing that up there so it's ah oh, come on thread it
and move a leg here. Let's see, here we go. Move a leg. I don't know if it was raining last night or not. Even though I was awake, I couldn't hear it. Boy, that was annoying. I'm really tempted to take... Excuse me, I'm just looking at this. I'm really tempted to take my... Um, bit of sewing in there, you know, but I don't think hubby would be very pleased. I'm just going to try to stay in the dark. Oh, well, it wouldn't be dark because I've got a little light, but... Well, I got these yesterday, so why don't I use it? Just look at this one, he's going that through there. <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> uh, not going to beat me. Look at that, I got that. Isn't that neat? I love these. I got that one, and this one, and a black one. It was a bit bigger, and it was, it's for doing your sewing machine, but. I don't need it to thread this machine. Well, not yet. Not yet. I can still see the thread me sewing machine. Although I haven't used it for a long time. Okay. So we're going to just do a couple more little, little overs and unders. Over and under. So if I had done this with a one strand of thread, it would have taken a lot longer to fill it up as well, and it wouldn't have been so thick. But I think it looks good like this, like it is, don't you? I think it looks really good like it is. Could be a tiny bit skew with this one. I'm pretty good at them skew with bits, aren't I? I'm going to take it back up there so it's not causing any trouble, we'll just put it like that, eh? Yeah. What do you think? You reckon that looks alright? I do, I think that looks pretty cool. So, that's our berry. Of whatever sort, there's lots of berries all over the world, so I'm sure there's one like that somewhere. Now, if you like, you can do these. You can have all French knots instead of beads. You can just do a whole heap of French knots. And if you like to do it that way, it's everybody's different, aren't they? So, and I've got this bit here, but I'm going to put some beads on today. Now, I think for a little while, while you're, um, while you're with me, if you're still here. Okay, where's me threaded needle here? With the cotton, got it. Okay. Will I do white ones? Where am I going to go? I pinned that on there because I thought I'd use that as a sort of type fan thing because I couldn't build and make one the other day. I tried to really a, a fair bit and I couldn't make one. I might just finish these beads up along here first. So I just want one strand of thread because I don't want to be mucking about with it. Getting caught and what have you. Okay, so I've got to find these coloured beads here that I'm going to put across this one. Won't straight through, very good, <laughs> or not. Um, and then if I do put some along this green piece here, where, the, where that is. So if you made one berry, you could probably just do a couple more little, that colour. We'll see if we get back to that bit. It's the wrong size. I don't know if this one's hit. got these in here or not. That I put in there. Is this the right bead soup? Okay, it could be. It's got a pink one. And... Yes, Jeremy? Pink one. <laughs> he must have wanted to tell me the dinner's on. That's what he wanted to tell me. I'm sure he did. Okay, I won't be too much longer. Yeah. I won't be long. Wait a minute. Right, so they've got to go back down in here. I know he's cooking some silver side for tea. I know he was doing that. Come on. OK, 
Okay, so I went back through all of them too, so they would keep getting hooked up in that pin there. And then go over this side and do these ones. I might take that out, that pin. It's annoying me. You keep getting everything caught in it. Now I need a pink one. I need that green colour one, which is in, they're few and far between in here, aren't they? Nice, pretty green. <laughs> Come on. Here it is. And you had more than one of them. Oh, yeah, well, I caught four beads then, too. Yeah. Like that. No, nope, it's got too many. <laughs> There's a stray one in there. One. I'm going to go back through the three of them to hold them down in place so they'll be, I'll come back up here at this part come on ok wait a minute now hold on go down in there Right. That looks really cool, doesn't it? It's really pretty. I need to put something else on that bit. I don't have a lot of appliques on here yet, do I? I don't think so. I've got that piece there. That's the only bit I've put on there so far, isn't it? I want to run some beads down along that now. I don't think I want to use those really dark ones though, not not there. I don't think I want to use those. Maybe these might be a little bit too big. Maybe. Maybe something else. They're nice, but they're not not very colourful, is it? <laughs> okay. What about the orange ones? That'll make it. That'll give it a lift along, won't it? We do weren't going to go this way, but we do every time, don't we? I just can't help myself. I just put the things. I just love the colours that I put together. I tried to make it ordinary, <laughs> whatever it is. Not ordinary, but. There we go, I'm going to use the orange ones because they are going to look amazing. Although I've got some there, but they're not as dark. I don't know, let's, let's start up here and put these ones on here. There's one bead. And it makes a big difference, doesn't it, how the piece looks too when you put the beads on. I reckon it makes it really beautiful, really beautiful. Right. This is time. Well, that took me a while to do that other thing longer than what I thought it would, but it's all good. Okay. You know what? I think it's going to need more than just this bead on along that stuff. That string. <laughs> I think I might need to put more of something on there. Don't know what yet. As long as we don't run out of orange beads, we'll be right. I got a little way to go. I just want to see what time that is too. I was just. I 
as we get going. The food will be cold. I missed it. Didn't get that bread at all. Missed him completely. Anyway, I hope he's had a good. Okay. I hope we had a good um, time today together, and I will be back. Oh, I didn't think it'd be ready yet. <laughs> okay. I'm still here fiddling. Aren't I? <laughs> I better get going. I will talk to you later next time. All right. So I hope everybody has a good day. Stay safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.